Hey everybody, how's it going? How was your Labor Day weekend? I hope it went well. What am I up to, you ask? Today, I don't know if you can see or not, in that stock pot there, is a whole bunch of muscadine grapes. If you have never had a muscadine grape, I'm sorry for you. It is one of God's most delicious creations. I am going to make some jelly out of those grapes in the stock pot. So since I'm working on that project today, I figured today would be a good day to share some of my favorite kitchen related money saving things with you. Um, and first side note is um, fruit bearing vines like the muscadine vines. We also have here, um, I'll insert a picture. The ones we have here are not big enough to bear fruit yet. My mom brought me these, but I can't wait until the two that we have are big enough to start giving me some grapes. Um, but here at our house, we also have blackberry bushes, raspberry bushes, blueberry bushes. We have a peach tree that um, is not large enough yet to make peaches. We have um, a tangelo tree that is in a pot that we bring in during the winter time that my aunt gave me. We actually just got it um, a week or two ago. My mom brought it to me. So we have a tangelo tree now too, and that, that just covers I think that covers all the fruit that we have here. Um, and not just fruit things, we also have um, an herb garden that we should have some herbs that come up every year right outside my door by the kitchen. We have um, an asparagus patch that will come up every year and does come up every year and we get fresh asparagus right outside my door. I just walk outside and pick it and we can cook it however we like. Um, and then we also, um, keep a garden every year um, up above the house. If you have the space, you know, keep a garden. It's nothing like getting fresh fruit and vegetables out of your own garden, um, gives you good exercise and um, the nutrition's better. And yes, it requires a little bit of work, but it's good for the exercise and it makes you feel good just growing your own food. We also have a uh, some um, ramps that we've planted around here. If you don't know what a ramp is, it's another Appalachian um, native edible that comes up in the spring and it tastes somewhat between um, a garlic and onion. So if you like garlic and onion flavor, you'd like a ramp. Um, and yes, that is how you say Appalachian. Remember, if you think it's Appalachia, I'm gonna throw an Appalachia at your head at a high rate of speed because you're wrong. Anyway, moving on. Um, second money saving thing um, besides growing your own food is learning how to can. Um, your granny was right and saving all of this food that we grow is another kind of hobby that my husband and I have. I don't know if you've noticed in my other videos, but up above there, all of this, spaghetti sauce, pickles, I think. Yeah, and some pickled okra up there. Um, there's some more spaghetti sauce over here and some stock. My, we have so much canned stuff. We've got some more over here, if I can even show it. More down there. There's some uh, pickled relish, squash relish. Um, applesauce. I uh, pick apples from my sister's apple tree whenever we feel like uh, making our own applesauce or apple butter. We'll go up there and get a whole bunch of apples and do it ourselves. The canning that my husband and I do does not require a pressure canner. We just hot jar can and it's very easy to do. Um, so invest in some, some canning supplies and learn how to pickle and jelly and can your own food. It's very rewarding to learn how to do that. Um, what else was I going to show you? Oh, um, another thing that we do to save money in the kitchen. This is a jar of our homemade chicken stock. Um, 
Now, if you've got a crock pot and canning supplies, you can do this yourself. What we do, if you are a family that say buys, um, you know, a rotisserie chicken at the store, or um, even if you have any kind of beef or pork that's got a bone in it, when you get done eating the meat off of that bone, save the bone. Hubs and I had a, a pork butt over the weekend, and we've got a pork shoulder bone just sitting in this bag in the freezer. And what we do is whenever we use any um, vegetables just in everyday cooking, like especially celery, onions, garlic, little um, the end bits off of the garlic, especially those type of vegetables, um, we will save the end pieces and the skin because all of that stuff has flavor. There's no sense in throwing it away. So we have a bag there for uh, the meat bones that we use and then we've got another bag somewhere oh here it is this is all the peels from like looks like mostly onions we like onions y'all <laughs> but uh there's red onions yellow onions whatever we happen to use that might taste good in stock we save it and put it in the freezer bag and keep it in the freezer now, when we get um, a freezer bag full of the skins um, and some meat bones that we can use, then what we do is put it in a, our, our big crock pot and we will let that go with, I mean, we get fresh thyme, sage, rosemary out of our herb garden. Um, we use just a little bit of sea salt ourselves to season it with, a little bit of apple cider vinegar in the stock pot to um, draw the flavor out of the bones. We'll let that go for like 24 hours in the crock pot on low, makes your house smell amazing. And you know, after it's gone for that amount of time, then we strain everything out and hot jar can our own homemade stock or bone broth if you're a hipster. Um, that, I mean, we don't ever have to buy stock from the store anymore, and um, honestly, the stock that we make is better than what you can get at the store anyway. So another little money-saving tip, and also helps reduce waste too, because there's just no reason to throw away the ends of those vegetables if you can use them. Uh, next money-saving thing that I like that I bought that I use on a daily basis is my um, French press. Sorry, if you're a Keurig person, I used to be a Keurig person, if I'm honest, but that coffee is just not as good. And yeah, I know you can buy the reusable Keurig cup things and, you know, not waste the plastic cups every day, but it still does not taste as good as just getting your own French press. And honestly, I buy um, whole bean coffee so that I can use my um, little grinder here. I grind my beans fresh, I make it in the um, French press every morning and it tastes so much better and honestly it does not take that much more time than what a Keurig would. And if coffee is something that you really enjoy then you know taking the time to appreciate it, use the French press to make your um, coffee in the morning is a good sort of um, mindfulness practice, you know, appreciate the things that you enjoy in life and take the time to enjoy them. So it's another thing that we like that saves us money. And the other thing, oh, other thing I wanted to show you was this food saver. Like I said, um, we have our own garden. So uh, not everything that we get out of the garden, you know, we can can in a jar. So if we have something that we want to keep, um, like this year, for whatever reason, we got a ton, a ton of cucumbers and eggplant. There's still more eggplant up in our garden. And the cucumbers, we made plenty of pickles out of, and um, I froze some. I just cut them up and froze them in the freezer to make smoothies out of. But... Uh, the eggplant we got, here it is, one of them, just sliced up into slices, and then I put it in the food saver, so, you know, it's vacuum sealed, 
there's no air in here, this, this eggplant will keep until we need to use it. I need to learn some eggplant recipes because really the only thing I kind of know how to do halfway is to use it in like a lasagna recipe in place of noodles. I need to think of some other ways to use it. If you have a good eggplant recipe, let me know below. Um, and uh, also whenever my husband and I cook, if we make a meal that's large, that will freeze well, that I can take to work later, then I just portion it out and um, individually put them in the food saver bags and seal them so that I can take them to work. Our freezer here, the entire door here, is full of um, meals that I can take to work that have been saved in the food saver. I've got lasagna, there's curry style beans and rice. This is a breakfast sausage hash that's really good with sweet potato and cheese. I made homemade macaroni and cheese the other day. Here's a little individual portion of it that I can take to work. Um, there's a lot of things that freeze well. And you know, if you're a person that kind of gets tired of eating the same thing over and over, then you know, if it's something that freezes well, you can individually portion it out like we've done here and um, still have variety every day at work. You can just take something different with you. Chili. This is a salsa chicken with black beans and corn and a little rice in there. I love our food saver. That was one thing that we bought that I um, wasn't even aware of how much we would use it until we actually bought it. And then just one last small thing that we bought that we really like is our um, bread machine. It, um, it's really nice to make your own bread at home. You can flavor it however you want. It tastes so much better than store-bought and it does save money and it's minimal effort. You just dump everything into the bread maker and let it go. It's really not hard. Um, the loaf that my husband has made most recently is, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's a little bit yellow colored. That is a like curry flavored loaf of bread and it's actually really good. Um, you make sandwiches out of that and it tastes a whole heck of a lot better than just plain bread. So uh, I think that that's everything I wanted to cover and this video is actually getting a little bit long. I'm over 12 minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up and post it to YouTube. If you like videos like this, then um, give it a like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, if you have other uh, kitchen money-saving hacks, comment below and let me know. We're always um, looking for more ways to save money. So until I see y'all in the next video, y'all have a good day.